Well, hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. A question for you. What are some reasons and ways that you celebrate God? Do you celebrate His kindness and grace towards you? Do you celebrate God when He helps you overcome trials in your life? Do you celebrate God for the blessings that He gives you? Well, what about this one? Have you ever celebrated your fear of the Lord? Now, that one might be out of our wheelhouse because we don't normally celebrate the things that we fear. But Psalm 47 states, Fear of the Lord is a beautiful and noble reason to celebrate and praise our God. In fact, let's read it now. Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. Let me read that again. Clap your hands, all people. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. You see, Psalm 47 helps us recognize that God, our king, is worthy of celebra celebration because of what he's done, because of what he can do, because of who he is. And our fear of him is worthy of celebrating. I've heard it said many times that fear of the Lord is more like a healthy respect. But in all honesty, I don't know if that does God any justice. You could have a healthy fear and respect of dynamite, but you don't worship dynamite. You could have a healthy fear and respect for guns, but you don't worship guns. So what's the difference between dynamite and God? Dynamite can blow you up, but God can condemn you to an eternal life in hell. Guns can end your life, but God can separate your soul and spirit with just His words. When the Bible says to fear the Lord, it's not talking about respecting God, because God doesn't need your respect. God desires your praise and your worship of who He is, of His kingship over you and all the earth. As David says in verse 2, For the Lord the Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. But why? Why would we celebrate the fear of our Lord? Here's why. Proverbs 9.10 tells us the fear of our Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. You see, when we celebrate our fear of the Lord, we're actually celebrating our understanding of who God truly is, what He's capable of, and what we truly deserve from Him. You see, we deserve death. We deserve punishment. But when we celebrate our fear of the Lord, God our King, we're not praising the respect that we have for God. We're praising the almighty and all-powerful, feared God who has decided to show us mercy. The mercy and almighty and all-powerful God decided to give us. Check this out. As Romans 5, 9 through 10 says, Since we have now been justified by this blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath? through him, that is Jesus. For if while we were God's enemies, enemies of the God who should be feared, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son. How much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Again, what are the reasons you celebrate and praise God? If you celebrate God's kindness and grace, if you celebrate his blessings and help, if you celebrate the sacrifice of Jesus, but you don't have fear of the Lord, then I'd say you don't know what you're actually celebrating. You don't know who you're actually praising. And here's the deal. We aren't used to celebrating our, feel, our fears because most fears can cripple us. So this idea is otherworldly. Other fears we have harm us. They hold us back. They stop us from living life to the fullest. But fear of the Lord leads us to wisdom and knowledge. It leads us to growth and living a life to the fullest. Fear of the Lord is cause for celebration. So fear the Lord and celebrate the mercy and kindness that He has shown us out of that fear. Get to know your King. Know what He's capable of. Know who He is. Know what He's done. Know what He's going to do. Get in your Bible every single day to seek Him out so you can worship and praise Him properly. In your discovering and seeking of God, you will develop a fear of the Lord that is worth celebrating. So thank God for a king who is holy and perfect, who humbles the prideful and lifts up the humble, who can separate bone and marrow, spirit and soul with his words alone. Thank God for a king who is capable of sending me to the eternal fires of hell and would be justified in doing so and yet chooses to show me mercy by sending his son to die on a cross. 
Fear the Lord, Calvary, and celebrate His mercy. Be blessed. Love you all. Have a good day.